stand behind him in line. So, John. Yeah. How you doing? Good. I'm John. What are you doing here today? I know you're John. Yeah. What are you doing here today? Just here. Just here? Who's your friend? This is, uh... This is who? A friend, someone I just was talking to online. Somebody you're talking to online? Yeah. How old is your friend? I'm not an officer, I'm just here to have a talk with you. I thought she was 40. You when thought she I, was 40? When I met her. I Try again, her how old did she tell you she was? About 50. About what? I'm not gonna do this if you're gonna tape me. I don't if I'm gonna tape this. you? Yeah. I have to have this recorded so I have proof that I didn't try to hurt you like you deserve and you didn't try to hurt me. So I'm here to have a conversation. Okay. All right, so how old did she tell you she was again? I can't remember. You just said 15. She said turning 15, but both ages are what? We just talked about that at the table. Yeah, illegal, right? Yeah. yeah. So what were your plans with her last night? No plans. No plans? Never. You guys never had no plans at all last night? We never, we never, we talked about things, but we never did anything. What did you talk about with what I'm you believe to be a 14-year-old girl? I'm not going to do this. Why not? You're not going to do what? You're already here. What were your plans last night with your 14-year-old friend? I got a surprise for you, John. You were actually chatting with me the whole time. You were never even chatting with her. So I know every plan that you had. You wanted to cuddle, right? I was aware. When, when her aunt went to work, you were going to sleep over and leave before she got home. Right? What's wrong, John? You don't want people to know what you're here to do? John, come on. I just want to have a chat with you. Just don't post that. I'll come back and talk to you in a minute. Thank you. Hey, John. John, listen. I just want to have a chat. I want to understand what makes a 55 or older year old man come out to meet a 14 year old girl after having the conversations that you had with her? How is this ridiculous? What's ridiculous is that you came out to meet a little girl. What's ridiculous is you were gonna come and sleep over last night. I have every single message. I have your picture that you sent. I have I have everything from A to Z, John. So how are you gonna how are you gonna explain this away? It was fantasy. See now that would be true if you didn't show up. It stopped being fantasy when you walked through these doors. It stopped being fantasy when you sat down with the little girl. You did show up. You're right here. I have every single chat log. You are my favorite type of predator, John. You know that. You're my favorite. You're gonna have the realest reality check once this goes online. I do this to raise awareness and to put pressure on people like you. So what do you gotta say for yourself, John? I, I'm just escorting you to your car so we have proof that we departed ways. We can walk around all day. All right, cool, then maybe you should just call the cops and then I'll go to your car before you do because we watched you park. You didn't even notice that you walked by me at the front door. I was with you the whole time. So, what do you got to say for yourself, John? I've never done anything like this before and I'll never do it again. Oh, okay. You want to know how many times I've heard that? 178 now. You're number 178. Every single last one you say, you've never done this before and you'll never do it again. You said you wanted to cuddle. You want to cuddle with this guy? No. What if he was dad? Do you think we would be here with cameras to talk with you? What would you do if he was dad, John? Huh? What do you think would happen? You don't look like you're too physically capable to me. So what do you think would happen? And that's not a threat. This is a reality check. It's going to come and sleep over with a 14 year old girl and then leave before her aunt gets home. For sure, remember? For sure, that's a, du a direct quote. What if we're cuddling 
and I want to do more. Oh wait, no, correction. You said, and we want to do more. What did that mean? Why would you be asking a 14 year old girl about cuddling at all? Why would you be talking with her at all? You did what a lot of you seasoned guys do. You go from trying to tell them, you're not? Hmm. You just happen to have all the same patterns as everybody else. That's just a coincidence, right? That's a coincidence, right, John? You can do this too, all you. I know what you think you're doing, and I've actually done this numerous times. Once you get back home, and then you do your research and see what's going on all the way, you're gonna see there's a lot of guys that do exactly what you're doing right now, the walking around and all that. None of it ever works. None of it ever helps the situation. Furthermore, on your video, when you still have your mask on, because you also think that that's helping you, but I'm gonna put all the pictures that I have of you right on your video, right next to your face. I'm gonna put the picture when you wrote her name on paper, when you guys were making sure each other was real so you could trust each other, right? You told me that trust is important, John. It's important that we could trust each other, right? Right, John? It was fantasy though. So this is all a figment of my imagination. You're not really in front of me right now. And you weren't just sitting down about to get lunch with a 14 year old girl. That's all, that's all fantasy. John thinks he's being slick right now. I know. He fails to realize this is only gonna attract more attention for him. I'm just curious, John. How are you gonna explain all this away? Since you did nothing wrong and it's all fantasy, right? That real standing up straight walk turned super mopey. Just saying. Kind of walking like you lost your best friend. All right, guess we're in for a little stroll. I'm let you keep further demonstrating how disgusting you are and how much you're trying to hide what you did and keep just showing that you have zero remorse at all whatsoever. Not doing yourself no favors. I got every message from the dating app that we never even spoke on. You found my kick on there. Then I talked to you on kick. Then we went over to texting. And even if you use the fake number, that doesn't matter either, John. I connect all my dots very well. So none to say for yourself. You had a lot to say to what you thought was a 14 year old girl. You begged her. How many times did I dismiss you, John? Bye. I'm gonna hang out with somebody else. You're a liar. You're a creep. You're weird. She called you all the names in the book, but nope. No, Johnny said, now nah, I'm still coming. I'm coming to hang out. But this was fantasy, right? In what fantasy, number one, does a man your age want to meet up with a little girl? That, that's the first problem, okay? Second problem is how many times, oh, wow, you don't want to go near them? You don't want them to know what you're doing? Why are you veering off to the right? We could take a survey. I like to do that. I like to ask people what they think and how they feel about what just happened since it's fantasy. No, like he thinks he's, he's being slick right now and he's not. It's cool. Hey, you know, I never say this for everybody that's live. Literally, I have never said this out of all 178 catches now, but share this. Share, share, share. Let's get ahead of everything and you guys do what you normally do. Connect all these dots that you have so far. His HD video will be up tonight. I'll put up his chat logs, I'll put up his face, like I always do, you know, so you guys can see him nice and crystal clear. And then you guys make sure that we know exactly from A to Z who John, quote unquote, is. John T. That's what was on your profile. Could be fake, but John T. That's the start. He drove out here from Woolkit, Connecticut, came out here from mall to meet what he believed to be a 14-year-old girl. Last night, he canceled. 
said that he couldn't hang out after he was saying he wanted to come over and cuddle. Made plans to sleep over. And then came the next day. Entrapment, I'm, now I'm going to further educate you on how uninformed you are and how stupid you sound because entrapment only applies to law enforcement. Genius. I'm not a law enforcement officer. I'm not any type of law enforcement. So, there goes your entrapment argument. Only a matter of time before they're going to be like, oh, why are those four people walking around oh, like yeah. that? Yeah. Is it the Benz? Is it Johnny? You pushing the Benz? All right, Johnny. Oh, see, you're you're gonna make this a little longer than it has to be, huh, John? What was that like? Forty-five minutes, John? About forty-five minute drive, you said, right? Gave ETAs and everything after begging the little girl not to hang out with somebody else. Please don't give me one more chance. Please, I messed up. Please, right? That's just fantasy, though, right? Coming over to cuddle with her, and what if you want to do more? That's all. That's all fantasy, right? Oh, okay. So then, explain being in front of me. I'm glad that you're actually saying yep to these specific things. It actually shows how not smart you are. <laughs> You're, you're actually responding to all the wrong things. You should be responding to my wise ass remarks, but instead you can't help yourself but to respond to the real shit. It's just, that's literally how this works. It's why I'm good at what I do. I'm just gonna put a lot of his text messages right up on the screen so everybody that knows him can get a full understanding for who he really is and how he really is. John. Johnny. If a grown man, no, for a um, de dead serious question. You're on, you're on camera too. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Absolutely. So, if a grown man tried to come and cuddle with your 14 year old daughter when you weren't home, what would you do? It would be wrong and I would not be happy about it. It would be wrong and you would not be happy about it. Okay, so why is this okay? That's why I didn't do it. Okay, but you came and met her at the mall anyway to make sure she was all right so you guys could sleep over next time. I felt bad and I thought that I owed her a lunch. Oh, you felt bad and you owed a 14-year-old girl a lunch. Okay, but the whole premise for today's meet was to make sure that you were cool so you could sleep over. And you agreed. Doesn't matter who stayed, you agreed. I have it in writing, so now when you just said no, I'm going to put that part up. So now let's just, let's act like we're in the future right now. Okay, you just made yourself look like a dumbass again. What do you, you want to try to try again? You want to take that back? You, you obviously remember all the text that went up every night. Yeah, I do because you were talking to me the entire time. And I know you don't remember it as in detail because you were so focused and excited to come and meet her. You were begging her not to go meet somebody else. How many times did I tell you to go away, Johnny? How many times? How many times did I dismiss you? How many times did I call you weird? Thank you. Again, answering to the things that you really should stay quiet, but you can't help yourself. Another, just, yo, you keep on, yo, for real, another genius, sharp as a marble. He really is. When we were talking about what we were going to watch, and I was like, I like funny stuff. You're like, oh yeah, funny's good. Whatever to help us relax. Right? Why are you trying to relax with a 14-year-old, Johnny? What's up with that? The following are gonna go extra hard with making sure that people know you, know what you did. Everybody that knows you is gonna know what you did. Your neighbor might come and knock on your door and be like, hey, what the hell is this? Just saying, so. You can keep on brushing it off and all that with your hand, because now you won't even talk. <laughs> You're just further demonstrating of how, how much I actually have you in checkmate. Had a whole lot to say to a little girl. You don't got not a lot to say now. I was gonna say nothing to say now, but you were talking a lot. You were. Cat got your tongue now though. Here he comes. John, look behind you. You think I'm bluffing? Look behind you, here he comes. 
What are you gonna say, Johnny? Uh-oh, scratching the head. Uh-oh. What are you gonna say, Johnny? That heart rate is raising right now, isn't it? I bet it is. Why are you walking away from him? Hi guys. Johnny, why are you walking away from him? Hi guys. These guys are harassing me. Oh yeah, we're harassing. How you doing, officer? Oh, awesome. You want to talk to us first or him? I don't know. Why am I here? Ask him. I've been following him. We've got the last hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. And why were we following you, Johnny? Because I agreed to meet someone here. Who did for, you agree for, to meet? For, for, for uh, a soda or lunch. And she's 15 years old. Or 14 going on 15. There you go. Simple as that. Okay. Simple as that. But I ain't doing it, Yeah, you were here to to sleep over with her last night. Well, I'm glad yeah. he said that much too. But anyways, are you familiar with Pop Squad by yeah. any chance? All right, so and it's. I'm probably not gonna care. All right, cool. That's fine. So, Been doing a lot of work here. I just so was waiting for him to leave the property. That's it. You guys walking around following him, to tell him to stop. I did. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna stop. Stop following him and stop videoing him. Well, I I'm, I could did record you? myself. Did you? What? Did you stop following him when he told you to stop following? He didn't tell us to stop yes, following him. We were keeping a distance from him the whole time. And he came to meet what he thought was a little girl. Okay, give me IDs from everybody. I don't have an ID on me. What do you mean you don't have an ID on me? You're going to run what I do. With a, with a GoPro and some big giant dude and you don't have an ID? No, I don't have an ID on me. Okay. And I never do when I do this. What? Why would you never have an ID on you? Because a lot of law enforcement are is very aware of who I am and what I do. So... It's a lot literally of law enforcement. Work. Yes. Not in this town. Yeah, I've done work here too. If you run my name and everything and go look it up, so you're gonna you come across ID, it. It'd be easier. What's your first name? I'm not gonna give my first name on my live camera right now. We were just doing don't what we do everywhere. Off, I'm not turning the camera. I need everything well, for well, documentation. What are, we, what are we doing here then? You I was waiting for him to leave. Me, you want me to cooperate with you, right? No, I honestly don't care because I know he can't get arrested right now, so, no matter so what. Who called the police? Not us. So what is this? Some big Somebody was on live. Show? It's not an internet media show. My it's work not? actually gets a lot of convictions. Thank you. For what? For guys like him. For what? What do you mean for convictions what? Convictions for what? For coming to meet a child, for trying to have sex, for soliciting. Okay, so all different types of convictions. So it he depends. Have sex with he was 15 year old. Yes, he did talk mom? about he did talk about cuddling and doing more. I have everything documented from A to Z. I understand you're not familiar. What's so that's name? cool. Huh? She, she's on live too right now. I don't you get, can, on the side, that's matter. fine. I just don't want it to leak well, out. Then tell we have him actually, to go somewhere. All right. You know what? Tell we have everything we need. Honestly, we have today. everything that no, we have everything that we need that so demonstrates everything. So we could just go. Who, who are you? Because we know that no arrest is happening right now. Never does. Thank you. You still living here? Uh, yeah. I didn't know if my new address was on there. This is new. This is new. That's a new one. This doesn't get likes. Don't care about likes. I care about documenting everything thoroughly and when you figure everything out, you'll see that. You guys already give him your name and stuff? Oh, he's got my ID. Yeah, yeah he has his and I told him once he, I was on live and stuff. Once he and does a little- still on live right now? No, not right now. You are still on live right now? No, I'm not. I'm ending it right now. Okay. Um, done this before in manchester 100 oh i was gonna say 177 times um i've had people that i caught that lived in manchester so then i think they ended up having to take over the case like once they got all the stuff together but um catching here we caught jeff here right we caught uh, so what do you guys so you do fake accounts whatever and yep. you talk to somebody obviously who's expecting to meet a child or yep. juvenile or something like that 
And then everything's what do you documented. Do after? What do you do after? All right, so after I, I, everything's done, after the catch happens and all that good stuff, I put it right on my website. And usually, either somebody from their like neighborhood will call and make the complaint, or a cop that is familiar with the work will okay. see it. They contact me. I give them all the chat logs. Okay, so I give them the video. You, if you're gonna take the initiative to go after people like this, why don't you bring everything you have? It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. I hear you. Like the situation where you're ultimately trying to. One hundred percent. No, I hear you. And this only happened out of the hundred and seventy-eight times. This type of situations happen. Maybe what? Five. Five, five yeah. tops. Yeah. As far as as far as like the police come and then they don't really know what's for, or they know exactly what's going on and like, oh, it's you guys. You know what I mean? Over. Is it something where you guys you have your you know whatever you do, conversations and evidence or whatever you've done mm -hmm. to the point where hey like you could give the police station? I would up? love to. If, so, and if you know a precinct that's open to sitting down and like connecting those dots, 100%. I would rather, I would rather have it that way, where we have all the stuff leading up to it, You're than, the doing, next, than, than doing this. You are, you are what I've been looking for for the last five years then. Well, so... 100%. Uh, so listen, if you have stuff going on, okay, and I'm sure, you know, you might talk to officers and they're going to say, hey, listen, like you're kind of baiting it, whatever, either way, it's not right what they're doing. But you have evidence of, mm -hmm. hey, they're trying to meet up with somebody. We have our own child investigations unit. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't and I do I, I do everything by your guys' book, so, too. So child investigations unit, talk to them. Hey, listen, I do, like, do, it's like not like a business. It's more like a It turned like into a, a business, but no, no, it's actually legit. We're a nonprofit. Okay, yeah. So bring whatever you have, information you have, meet with our detectives in the beginning of the week or something like that, or at least reach out to them, talk to them, and say, hey, this is what's going on. Okay. And either... They can take it further from there or um, or like say, hey, listen, like he's planning on meeting us here and then have cops on standby or whatever. Okay. And now my they, only they may have already have a warrant going or something. One but I highly recommend if you are going to like, I'm assuming like kind of be in the Manchester or doing like things in the area, you 100%. never know what somebody's going to. Maybe go meet with our detectives and see what they say. I've about sat with a lot of other precincts. So do you yeah. have a detective's name that you could refer yeah. me to after you let them know about yeah. today? Um, so it's going to be Sergeant the juvenile um, detective. And okay. then we also have a computer crimes division as well. All right. So I'd say either Sergeant or um, Sergeant. All right. But, you know, like for my aspect of things like me like if this was my case or whatever and you come to the station you give me everything like that you have oh yeah Contact, a to z number you know numbers time stamps mm -hmm. you know i don't know what other information you obtained from him and stuff yep. like that pictures Photo, yeah, yeah i want to see that but yeah no nah, i got photos, you photos stuff like that and you come in you know even after the fact hey and we met him on this day and i have footage of that and you bring that to our station? Yeah, that's on a platter, I mean. yeah, right? Yeah, that's so what I've been saying for the last four years. Versus, like, versus us, it versus us, like getting some third party, hey, mm -hmm. we saw this Instagram live of this I told him when we were on that, I was like, yo, you and keep then, walking around this long, people are gonna, I, I, I completely like, hear you. I, I hear would you. rather, I mean, if that's where you like are going with that, like. Personally, I think that's how it would work best. I thought so too. So, but they, yo, maybe when it comes from your side and like how things lined up, whoever I speak with is going to be more open to it. Um, thus far, the closest I got with working like with with like that. Probably not going to work to the point where they're going to be like, okay, hey, you're, you're talking about this, you're oh, talking yeah, today, yeah. stuff like that. But if you say, hey, listen, it's you know, I'm today. confronting somebody today at the yeah. mall. Um, I'm just letting you guys know if there's time. any issues or so, something like that and see what they say. Like a heads up. All right. Yeah. That's, yeah, that, I understand that. In regards to after the fact, um, your investigation, um, bring, just bring it to the town PD. I mean, it, you know what I mean? Okay. Like ultimately, cause how do you know, like if nothing's going to be done? Because I've done it multiple times. Yeah. He's number 178. Where to begin? 178. So female officer as you guys saw, super cool. Other officer, not so much. Um, at the end, I'll just sum that up real quick. He s came around somewhat, would you say? Yeah, a little bit. Like a little bit? I don't know. But anyways, decoy's first live catch. Phenomenal job, I may yeah. add. Um, where do you want to start? Beginning the catch, when you know I have the camera still in my sweater, the predator ended up coming right through the door as I was walking back toward the front to check to see if he was there yet. So I hit a Yui and uh, didn't get to see where he actually parked his car. 
I, I bluffed at the end and said I, I did, but it didn't work. Cops ended up coming, as you saw. But anyways, told Decoy he's on his way. I let Yeti know he was on his way. And then me and Yeti went and sat from the point of view that you guys, you know, come into the video. And uh, I'm gonna let Decoy go through their interaction. Yeah, you so, can take yeah. it from there. So I was sitting down and I saw him walking around on his phone, looking around, sketchy. <laughs> and um, I'm literally looking at him too. Like, I know he recognizes me, but he's not like just coming up to me. So finally I'm like, John? And he's like, oh, so-and-so, hi. So he sits down and he's like, yeah, sorry about last night. And I'm like, oh, it's okay, it happens all the time. And he's like, oh yeah? I'm like, yeah. Um, and then he was like... Just to interject real quick, happens all the time was he actually canceled. He said like his daughter was over and um, then he ended up saying, oh, he was thinking about this all, all day and he thinks it'll be for both of our best benefit that we mm -hmm. meet during the day. Uh, I'll put the chat real quick, mm -hmm. but yeah, go ahead. So then, um, he said something about like being cautious and that he has to be careful. And um, I was like, oh, why is that? And he was like, well, I don't mind the age, but some people do. And I was like, oh, why? And he was like, cause you're young. And I was like, so? And he was like, well, it's illegal. You're underage. And I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, well, we're just eating, we're just chilling. And he's like, yeah, it's fine. So I'm like, all right, so you wanna get something to eat? And then we jumped in line. And yeah, you guys are right there. Yeah, pretty much, uh, I just decided that I wasn't gonna sit there and wait for him to get food. If we had a way to record more than maybe, but um, yeah, that was enough to lock it all in, you know demonstrate that he had the ultimate level of intent to hang out and leave and all that good stuff so <clears throat> i want to give a special shout out to her other half um he actually couldn't be with us during the catch but to be newly involved with this organization and be okay with letting your other half go do what we do comes up to you bro so that said, I'm out of here. See y'all soon. Yes, ma'am.